Hello there. Today I wanted to tell you a little bit about perspective, about looking at things with a, a different attitude. So many clients will say to me that they hate, which is a very strong word, and I'll, I'll try and avoid the word hate if, if possible, but they hate something that's going on in their life right now. It might be their job, it might be their relationship, it might be where they live, it could be something about their family, their children maybe. There's something that they really don't like about it. Now, sometimes that's simply because they're only noticing the negative aspects of that particular stimulus. And if you look for something good in it, then you'll see it. Be careful what you look for because you'll find it, as we say in a lot of these little videos, that if you're constantly exposing yourself to something negative or thinking about something negative, that is what you will see. And so vice versa, looking for something positive, you will see it. It reminds me of a story of uh, three builders on a building site. And uh, somebody's walking by and they see these three builders all pretty much doing a similar sort of job. Two of them have got an absolutely miserable look on their face. It's as if they're carrying around this great big black cloud. One of them has got a fairly, fairly happy smile on his face, he's got a whistle while he works. You know, the other two are totally miserable. So this character goes over to speak to these builders, says to the first one who's got a grumpy face, what are you doing here on this building site? What do you do? And he said, well, what I do is I move bricks from that pile over there and I dump them in that pile over there. I hate my job. So the person says to the second builder, what do you do here? What are you doing? And he said, me, what I do is I add stone to this cement. That's what I do. I just pour stone into cement. That's it. I hate my job. Character moves on to that third person who's got a smile on his face and says, well, you, you seem to be you know, actually enjoying your job. What do you do here? He said, me, what am I doing? Me? I'm building a cathedral. And really, they were all doing exactly the same job. But if we focus on the part of it that we don't like, the hard work, for example, or something that's monotonous or boring, we miss out that bigger picture. All of those builders were building a cathedral. That's something to be pleased about. And whether you're working uh, on a market store, whether you're uh, cleaning bins, or, or no matter what you're doing, there is something good in that job. You may even, in some cases, be helping to save somebody's life. Sounds ridiculous, but even selling mobile phones. What do you do for a living? Oh, I sell mobile phones in the shop. Oh, I hate my job. Maybe the person you sell that phone to is getting the best deal because of you. Because of you, they're saving themselves five pounds a month rather than going to another shop. Well, it may be. And these things do happen. We, we, sh we should look for the good in our life, the good in our relationships, the good in um, our job, our family, our friends, our house, our weather. People complain so much about English weather because it rains so often and then complain a bit more when it starts to uh, starts to warm up or it's too hot now. And maybe it's being British, but we could do with showing ourselves that there's good in everything that we do because we cannot change what's going on around us. All we can do is change the way that we feel about it. So if you think that there's something bad going on in your life, just notice because actually you might be able to find you can feel better about it if you try.